Hi, hello lovely Libras and welcome to my channel. I'm Bella, the Secret Psychic and how I work, um, different to most, most readers on YouTube, is I work with my spirit guides because that's how I work in my everyday practice. So most people know me as Bella, the Secret Psychic and this is your love um, forecast for April 2017, general overview. And if you like this, do like, do subscribe, do share. And if you want to know more about me and my services, the links are just down below. So what a month we are going into. And I mean, it's a good month astrologically. Well, I say good month, it's an interesting month. It is a good month in the sense that it's we're having a, a, an unusual conjunction <laughs> um, where we have four planets that are going retrograde pretty much all in the same month. Four. So we're already in a Venus retrograde. Then we have a Mercury retrograde. We have Saturn also going retrograde. And we also have Pluto going retrograde. <laughs> That's a lot of planets all sitting stationary in the sky. So if you were to look out um, at the stars, they're not moving forward. They're staying still, heading off into a different direction as they all then flow um, after their retrograde is stopped. So it's a very interesting month with the energy for most star signs, sometimes not in a good way. But I feel for you guys, you guys, um, from what my guides are indicating, are in a, it's, it's, it's okay sort of for you guys. So this is how my guides explain week by week over the sort of the four, first four weeks um, of what happens in April. So it seems to me that some of you at the beginning of the month need to make very clear decisions about like, I feel like you're stuck. You're stuck between either you making choices between you and, and another love interest around you. But mainly I feel that this is you stuck between having to give your love to somebody and the attention that's required there versus giving your attention to work, money and career. And you feeling like you want to look over at your work and career and not so much your love, but knowing it does need to be there. But like my guide's saying, don't be mistaken that despite your your developmental or work aspirations or career or financial aspirations, yes, they need it needs attention, but not at the de detriment of your love life. It is important that you try to keep a balance, and as uncomfortable it is to be kind of this piggy in the middle, you do need to try to navigate doing that successfully, and you you both. You know, normally Libras can do that. That's why you're scales. But it feels to me that you are in danger in that first week of letting it tip to the non the the, the non domestic side, the non personal side of your love life. And there is a need because it feels to me that you just want that area sorted out. <laughs> um, hence why you feel the need that that needs more attention. But actually, and I had this conversation recently with somebody, which is like. Sometimes when you put too much energy on a thing that you want to work right and you sort of panic about it, that actually that persists more. It doesn't actually go away because your head is in the wrong place. You've got to you've got to always follow what you love to do, not what you need to do. So take your attention, I would say, to your love for life, because actually by doing that and not putting so much energy and focus on this area, that sorts itself out. And I think this is what some of you aren't getting at the beginning of the week, that you do need to have that balance and to put your attention because we don't, what's the, what's the phrase? We don't live to work, we work to live, all right? Because that's going to sort itself out because I get in the, in the second week, all that worry and attention that you were probably putting there does sort itself out. It was always going to. But, but at what cost to your new connections or your existing relationship, basically? Because it feels to me that you either your 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 single dom is because your focus is not on the love life aspect, or your existing relationship is crying out for you to really pay it attention, because they are feeling really low. If I'm being honest with you, and that's not going to help with the. Mercury retrograde planet going retrograde is going to magnify that sadness for them and really start to lose hope or see things or even maybe want to fall away from you. So try to get that balance is what my guides are trying to ask you to do um, to ensure that your love life stays as, as balanced as it wants. Almost don't rest on your laurels to say, OK, that's OK. No, it's not, particularly in this month where the energy is all over the place. Trust me. 
people's energies will be all over the place depending on what their star sign is so making sure that our connections are grounded and how we frame things in our minds is quite key in this month because it could go wrong (laughs) basically in a moment's notice so I'm pretty much trying to warn everybody um as well but importantly I just want to express for those of you who really do have money on the mind on your mind it is so going to sort itself out in April that you really don't need to worry about it please please don't it's going to be good particularly in the second and third week and I know it's a love reading but it's so key and I feel compelled to tell you guys that leave the money alone it's going to sort itself out you need to pay attention to your relationship your connections your newly dating whatever it is this is for you it has been stressed you must do this now with that I feel it's a sense of urgency that for some of you who don't take that and I say this with love you're going to have drama at the end of the month which you may not like all right so please I hope you hear me in the third week again I'm getting finances career self-developments all be sorted out and I feel to me that that's good now for those of you who didn't hear that message this is when the conflict could start up because it feels to me that that sadness of another person who feels like they're being lost or rejected or not loved or not wanted seems to really want to cause conflict with you because they 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 are being affected basically my guys are saying by the mercury retrograde energy and have magnified things completely out of proportion not being helped with the detachment from you so i get there could be some explosions now that this will only apply and this is the great thing about having a reading is that you can see the insight and you can navigate the path differently. Now, that will apply if you didn't hear what I just said <laughs> earlier. You will no doubt go into this conflict. If you can have that balance, then you will not have this conflict in the same way. Not at all, not at all. It will be quite easily resolved. It will be nipped in the bud before you even get there because you'll just say the right thing, as you beautiful Libras do. Because that's, this is, you know, relationships are your key thing. That's what you are very good at as long as your eye is on the ball. But for those of you who don't hear that, please know that in that third week, massive arguments could happen that could lead to some deep wounds that may not be healed and even separation. Because I get for you, for those who don't hear that, in the fourth week, you're feeling really sad really really sad like you then change places with the person who was sad who then blew up you become sad because it's not where you wanted it to be it's not at all where you wanted it to be and it's making you feel really anxious so in a way you swap the anxiety that you had over career and money now for anxiety and worry over your relationship and that's why I express this as hopefully as clearly as I can that you must have the balance at the beginning and to maintain that because you're just swapping one anxiety for another when you could completely avoid it. It's not your fault because you have these four planets messing with everybody's energy (laughs) um, at this time because basically they're like big golf balls in the sky magnifying their traits to their max to their highest at this time all pretty much at the same time. So nobody can blame that in this month there is this kind of ickiness but you can navigate through it. This is the beauty of having insight get that balance turn your attention up to your connections please (laughs) because I don't want disappointment for you guys I don't want you swapping one anxiety that is going to sort itself out I'm going to tell you so again finances you're waiting for any any good news on awards careers money finances you're good you're good in April that's the best thing so take the focus away you relax chill out put it back in love because you don't want to swap one worry for another where actually some of you, some of you at the end of the month could be feeling like you are, that you've lost somebody. I do not want that for you, particularly because this energy messes with things like that, particularly Mercury retrogrades as well. If you can hear that, I, I feel I foresee no problems, basically. So yeah, it's, it's quite a hard one, it's either be this way or not, and I don't want to be your mum, but this is this is the message I get and I have to always be honest when I get it so that you can navigate the best way that you can so keep the balance keep the scales basically put your focus on your connections and your love life more so than material stuff in your life as we navigate through this very 
lovely and unusual but very precarious set of retrogrades that will discombobulate a lot of people. So I do hope that that's helped you today and I'm sorry if it sounded deep but sometimes some messages are really meant to be heard and so I really hope that you've heard that dear Libras and you have an amazing April because I'm sure that most of you will take this and bring the balance in your life in the way that it should be. Take care. Bye.